everyone. We are here with Allison today. We are going to work eight angle pose today. So we're going to warm the hips up, warm the hamstrings up, and get you right into the posture. You will need two blocks. We're going to take a couple different variations at the end with the pose to see uh, which one you like the best. So we are going to start in a seated position, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet to touch. So as we start to just kind of settle into the first few moments here, I want you to close your eyes, Allie. And I just want you to place your hands where they feel comfortable. Hmm. So close the eyes down and start to find the breath. So work in through the nose. And out through the nose. And just working on finding that really strong, sweet cadence of breath. Sometimes with these arm balancing postures, you're going to get into a little bit of new territory. And for some reason, that tendency is to kind of hold the breath in. So I want you to just breathe deep now. I want you to feel what that breath is like in the body. I want you to remember what that feels like so that we can tap back into that later. We'll stay for just another breath cycle. Hmm. And flutter the eyes open. Take in the space. Hmm. And we're just going to cross one ankle over the other, come into a forward fold. Just pause for a moment. Let gravity be your friend here. Hmm. And then hands to your hips. Roll your shoulders down your back and come up to standing. So we're just going to work a traditional sun A to get us rocking and rolling with the breath. And then we're going to add a little bit of funkiness to sun B. So bring your hands to your heart. Come to the top of your mat, Allison. Good. When you are ready, inhale, stretch for the space around you. And exhale, forward fold. Hmm. So inhale, lengthen out, heart forward. Exhale, step back, plank pose. So from plank, fire belly space. Good. Inhale, shift the weight. Exhale all the way to your belly. First one is cobra most of the time. Inhale, I want you to think about pulling the heart space through. Exhale, float down, curl the toes. Inhale to plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. So settle into this first downward facing dog. Hands are strong, triceps wrap in, shoulder blades wrap down the back, hips high, heels heavy. So Allison's been my student for quite a few years and her heels are on the ground. If your heels aren't on the ground, totally fine. She has a pretty strong practice, so her hamstrings are playing nicely today, it looks like. <laughs> so when you're ready, big toes to touch, take an inhale, look up, take an exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen out space. Exhale, bow in. Inhale, stand up, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, pull it to your heart. Two more, just like that. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bow forward. Find length, inhale. Your vinyasa, exhale. You can step, you can float. Upward facing dog pulls the heart through. You'll see a lot of that later. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just one big breath in. One breath out, big toes to touch, look up, breath in, exhale, breath out, lengthen, and bow, and inhale, stand up, reach for all that space, draw it to your heart, ah, one more, inhale, arms up, and exhale, bow forward, find length, inhale, halfway, Exhale, your vinyasa step or float. So since this is an intermediate uh, video, good, Ali, there's going to be a little bit that's kind of left unsaid. A lot of that vinyasa work, a lot of kind of the basic cueing will be left out for today, assuming that you have a little bit of that under your belt. Big toes to touch. Inhale, look up. Exhale, top of the mat. Lengthen out. Bow in. Ah, this time, bend your knees, reach your arms for chair. Good. So along with the little hamstring opening, a little hip opening, also we're going to talk about Uddiyana Bandha, that lift of the belly. So we're going to catch a little fire in that belly space here. Take a breath in. Exhale, start to bend deep, bend deep, bend deep. You're going to go right into boat. Dink. <laughs> so chest comes up. So Ali, put your hands on the ground for a second and just lift your heart space up. So option one, stay just like this. You can stay here. I'm going to have her stay here just to show you. Heart space lifts. Belly is fired up like crazy. Now she's extending her legs out. If that doesn't work for you, you can bend your knees. Take a breath in. Exhale, you're going to rock back and forth, just gaining a little bit momentum. 
and then cross the ankle step or float right through chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pulling the heart space through, downward facing dog. Hmm. So pausing in downward facing dog, heels are heavy, hips are high. Hmm. Big toes to touch, alley look up. Exhale, step or float. Find length, inhale. Bow the body, exhale. Second set, bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. So finding chair, finding just that heat in the legs, right? We're going to stretch out the hips and the hamstrings a little bit more in a little bit. So building some heat is awesome for the practice here. Take a breath in. Exhale, get lower and lower and <laughs> lower. Boat pose, dink. Good. So again, finding this heart space lifting, right? The idea here is to open up across the heart, fire the belly, and then strong legs. Fire those legs up. Take a breath in. Exhale, rock back. Ha. Ah, and forth. So all you're doing is gaining a little momentum so that you can come up and over through your vinyasa. Nice. Big breath up. Clears the front of the body. Exhale, big breath back. Good. So her heels are down, like I said earlier in this pose, but if your hamstrings are a little tight, you can always bend your knees a little bit in downward facing dog. Eventually, the heels will go down. And we just kind of practice and move the body as it allows, okay? So take a big breath in, big toes to touch. Exhale, top of the mat. Good, lengthen, inhale. And bow the body, exhale, bend the knees, reach the arms. Third time is the charm, right? Take a breath in. Exhale, get smaller 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 dink hmm. chest up boat pose right so as if my thumb was right in between your shoulder blades start to lift your heart space up so your belly's on fire you're probably wobbling a little bit that's okay take a breath in exhale rock back whoo and forth and back and forth exhale up and over nice big breath up and exhale big breath back so pausing in down dog, feeling almost like a reset button here. And this is where the blocks are going to come in handy. So I'm going to put them just on the sides of our mat here. And you can stop the video if you need to, to kind of find the placement for that. So we're going to go through a couple warrior uh, poses here to kind of get a little heat built in the outer hip. And then we're going to add that Yudhiyana Banda work at the end. Are you ready? Inhale that right leg up. And exhale to pull through warrior one. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, open warrior two. So just pause for a moment. So the arms are stretching out like you mean it. Right? And as the front knee tracks the second toe, the right hip draws under, belly draws in here. Right? So eventually you'll want the knee to stack right over the ankle just like this. Right? If you're feeling a little bit less open in the hips, you can come back. But this is good for our intermediate class today. Good. So keep the legs just like that. Inhale, flip the front hand and reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. So again, the left arm's going to come up by the left ear there, stretching through the left side of the body all the way down to the outer left foot. So keeping this really strong energy line, right, as you build a little heat in that outer right hip. Whew. Good. Stay for the breath in. Settle on the breath out. Reverse warrior, breath in. And exhale, hands down, touch down, breath out. Right leg up, inhale. And then just right foot down, exhale, second side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, pull through for warrior one. Assuming that all these cues, all these warrior poses open to two are not new to you here. Okay? So again, stretching out through the fingers, heart space lifts, belly draws in, tailbone draws down. Right? And then because this front leg is in an external rotated position, that left hip starts to kind of draw under you a little bit. Good. Stay just like that with the legs. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, extended side angle. Hmm. So if your left hand in this side, for example, can't go all the way down to the ground, you can put it under a block if that helps. You can also rest the forearm on the knee. The right bicep is by the right ear, all the way out through the right heel. Beautiful, Allison. All right, stay for the breath in. Settle on the breath out. Whew. Inhale, reverse breath in. And exhale, hands down, breath out. Left leg up, big breath. 
and down dog. So here's, we're going to add big toes to touch, look up. Exhale, you're going to hop cross your ankles, bend your knees, find your bum. So she's going to take the blocks to the both sides of her hips. And she can put them up like that. You can put them flat, whatever works for you. So knees are going to come up so that the ankles cross. Right? Hands on the block. Chest up. Look out in front of you. Good. Take a breath in. Exhale. Belly pulls up and in as her pelvis lifts. Maybe her feet lift. And inhale. Come down. Exhale again. Belly in. And inhale. Come down. Couple more times. Keep going. Good. So I want you to just keep moving with your breath a couple more times as if somebody, Yudi on a Banda, the belly button pulls up and in right there. Good. So just working a little bit of that low belly engagement. One more time. Nice work. And slowly come down. Blocks out of the way. Good. Step or float through that vinyasa. Beautiful. Inhale. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Nice work. Second set. Right leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Pull through. This time, inhale. Warrior one. Exhale. Hands behind your back. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, humbled warrior. So just a little detour here in the second set. Good. So she's pinning her right hip back, letting her head drop down. Beautiful. A little bit more inside outer hip. Keep the legs just like that. Inhale, arms up, stretch up. Exhale, open to two. <sighs> Inhale, flip and reverse. And exhale, extended side angle. So adding just a little bit of shoulder opening here on this set, left hand takes a half bind. So option, yogi's choice here, left hand can just stay in a half bind, rolling the shoulder open, really plugging in that right sit bone as it draws underneath of you, right? Other option if the right hand wants to stretch forward, like it's catching a platter out there, yep just to create a little bit more space in the right side body. Take a breath in, settle breath out. Whoo, inhale, reverse, breath in. Exhale, hands down, touch down, breath out. So three-legged dog, stretching hip flexor. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side here, left leg up, inhale. And exhale to pull through. Right into warrior one, inhaling. Exhale, hands behind the back. Good, big breath, so chest expansion, inhale. And then exhale into humbled warrior. So you're giving the brain like a moment to drop here. It kind of helps the pose become a little heavier in the front of the body. That left hip pins back. Good. Stay for the breath. Leaning into that sensation. You're going to feel it in that left hip on the side. Lean into it. Good. Keep the legs just like that. Inhale. Stretch up. Arms up. Whoo. Exhale. Open to two. Ah, nice. Inhale. Reverse. And exhale, extended. All right. So again, adding the right hand into a half bind on this side. Opening up across the heart space here. Good. And then that left hand's going to reach forward. You don't need that weight. Get it out. Take a big breath in. Settle breath out. Whoo. Inhale, reverse breath in. Nice work. Exhale, hands down. Touch down. Breath out. Whoo. Left leg, sweep it up. And downward facing dog. So second set here, Yudhiyana Banda. Look about middle of your mat. Take an inhale, exhale, hop, cross. Good. So find the blocks. So make sure the ankles are crossed the opposite direction as the first time, just to keep a little balance in the practice. Good. Hands on the blocks. Chest up. Look forward. Exhale. Hips up. And then inhale to prep. Good. So keep going. So as if, friendly little gut punch here, I talk about that in class sometimes, its belly is coming up and in. It's scooping up and in so that the pelvis lifts up off the ground. It's a friendly, it's a friendly gut punch. <laughs> Take one more just to prep that belly. Whew, that's it. Blocks out of the way. Good. Step or float through your vinyasa just to clear it out. Whew, nice work, Allison. Inhale, big heart opener. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing here. So hitting like a little reset button. Good. So we're going to work a little bit more into the hamstring on this set. Inhale, your right leg up. And exhale, pull through for crescent pose. 
So just pausing in crescent, okay? Just for a moment, pinning that right hip back, belly button draws up and in. Good, so take a breath in. And then pyramid pose, hands down, straighten into that right leg. Pause, okay? So think up dog in your chest for a moment. So the spine reaches up out of the hips, and then exhale, bow into the right knee like you wanna smooch it. So just a little hamstring prep here. <sighs> So pausing in the pose. And if the right knee doesn't want to straighten out all the way, that's okay. Good. Now, I want you to look out in front of you. Slowly start to walk your hands forward. Back foot comes up off the mat. So option one, you can stay with your hands on the ground. Back foot is reaching back. Standing leg is strong. Option two, reaching your arms back to pull your heart through. Wobble a little bit, breathe a little bit, laugh a little bit. <laughs> Take a breath in. Back to crescent lunge, bend into the front knee, left foot back, inhale, arms up, exhale, hands down. Right leg up, inhale. Left foot halfway up, exhale. Just a couple hops, just to fire that belly. Nothing fancy, nothing that we need to hold. Just a couple hops up and a couple hops down. Allison loves little handstand hops. We'll put a few of those in there for her. Take one more. Good. And step it back, downward. <laughs> Facing dog. Nice work. All right, one more side, and we'll take a little break, Allie, okay? Left leg, inhale. Pull through for crescent. Exhale. So inhale to crescent. So creating space in the side bodies, heart space lifts, belly draws in, left hip pins back. Good. Take an inhale. Variation of pyramid pose, exhale over that left leg. The variation is because the back heel is up in this one. Inhale, spine is lengthening. Exhale right into that left knee. So three breaths here, right? Pinning that left hip back. Just letting the sensation evolve in that left hamstring here, right? Seeing if you can kind of breathe through that tightness that you might be feeling just a little bit. And your hands can always go on blocks too if you want to, but her hands are okay on the ground. All right, inhale, start to look out. Start to walk out, start to pull that back foot up. So the idea that that back foot is reaching back and the heart is pulling through will come in very handy later when we get into the pose. Beautiful, take a breath in. Bend into that front knee. Inhale, arms up. Whoo, exhale, hands down. Left leg, sweep it up. Right foot comes halfway up. Good. So nothing fancy, just a couple hops up, couple hops down. If you have different variations of handstands that you want to take just to kind of fire that belly space a little bit, you're welcome to it. One more. Beautiful. Step it back, down dog, and then just child's pose to rest. Whoo. So pausing here in child's pose and just giving your body a moment. So understanding that child's pose is always available to you. It doesn't have to be only when we call for it in these videos. If you need to take an extra moment, take an extra breath, pause the video, catch your breath, you're more than welcome to, okay? Stay for one breath in. Good. Slowly coming back to downward facing dog. And then we're just gonna easy step top of the mat. Good, inhale, lengthening out. Exhale, bowing in. Inhale, stand up, stretch up, reach up. Exhale to your heart. Whew, how we doing? <laughs> doing okay? All right, so just two little more standing balancing preps, um, and then we'll come to the ground and start to build the posture up, okay? So stand in that left foot for me and pick up your right knee. Okay, so option one, if you don't want to involve the hamstring, this is the pose, okay? Option two, you're gonna piece the big toe of that right foot, chest up, shoulders back, foot straight out in front of you. So Allison has this space in her hamstrings that allows her leg to straighten out all the way. It might not look like that at the beginning for you. Just kind of feel it out, okay? Take a breath in. And then as she starts to roll that right sit bone up underneath of her, the leg comes out to the side. Good. And just staying for the breath in, thinking tall spine, thinking standing in that left leg nice and strong. Ooh, bring it back and let it go and check it out. Ah. <laughs> Second set, standing in that right leg, this time pick up that left knee. Okay. 
Take a breath. So finding the root to rise, finding this length up the spine, catching your breath, softening your jaw. <sighs> okay? And then peace, the big toe of that left foot. And then exhale straight out in front of you. So noticing one side's always a little different than the other. Just noticing what's happening here in this hamstring, shoulders, back, chest up. And then as she starts to extend her foot out to the left, she rolls that left sit bone up underneath of her so that she can find that external rotation in her left hip. It just helps open up the hip a little bit more, which we'll need here in about four minutes when we start to build the pose. <laughs> Take a breath in. Come back to center. Bend the knee. Release the foot. Whoo, breath out. So just one vinyasa to get us down to the ground. Hands to the heart. Here we go. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bow. Ah. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, your vinyasa, step her foot. Big breath in, up dog. Big breath out, down dog. Hmm. So let's come to about middle of the mat. So just a little hop cross. Come on down. Okay. So the first pose that we're going to get into is a little bit of um, a little prep for eight limb. It's a compass. And we're going to get into it slowly. And you're going to get to decide if and when you want to stop at any point. So I want you just to extend that left leg out, Allie. I want you to pull that right leg up. So you're going to take your left crook of your little elbow, their little crease, and your right arm's going to reach around. Right? And then the sometimes the tendency is to round out of this one. We're going to lift up out of this one. We're just going to like open and close the hip a little bit. All right, so all we're doing is taking a little hip opener, closing it off, little hip opener, closing it off. So if your hips are fairly tight, Right, and you want to just stop at this phase. It's a really nice kind of resting area, okay? So slowly let go of that foot. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your right chicken wing under your right knee. And then to get like a little tidbit here, you see how she's like L-shaping her right hand and she's pushing, right, up on that right leg so it's almost like she's putting like a little backpack on her shoulder so the right arm straight away to the ground you'll see the left hand comes to the outside of her foot all right so take a breath in and then slowly so not to crank into the pose she's just going to start to extend her leg as she looks up under her left arm so compass pose variation um, is to bend that left leg Good. And the, leg mi the right leg might not straighten out all the way, and that's okay. Just kind of finding what works for you. And then exhale, bending that knee. Ooh, extending both legs out. Maybe lean back. Maybe shake it out a little bit. All right. Second side. So picking that left leg up, kind of cradling it for a moment, lifting up out of the hips here, and just kind of rocking it back and forth there. Just kind of creating a little bit of space. Hmm. All right, you ready? Then she's going to take that left chicken wing up under. See, so she's creating this L in that hand so that she can push her leg up to get it higher like she's putting the backpack on. Good. And then she works to straighten that leg out for compass. So you can keep your leg straight or bend it back. Yeah, two variations here. And she looks up under the arm that's coming up over her head. <laughs> take a breath in. So just bend that left leg for me. So if she didn't want to go into the full pose, she might just stop here, right? She might just stop working the leg to the top of the shoulder, pause, breathe into the hip. That's also an option, okay? And then slowly take that leg off, extend both legs out, shake it out. All right, so we're going to show you three different variations to get into eight angle pose, eight limb pose, anything you want to call it. Lots of different names for it, okay? So she's going to start not even in the full pose, just the blocks by her side. So she's going to lift that right leg up to catch a little chicken wing. And then as soon as she gets that right leg high enough, she clamps that foot down so that it doesn't go anywhere, right? That's the, that's the most important part. The hands are on the blocks. So if you're just fairly new-ish to this, all I want you to do is take an inhale, lift the belly, lift the pelvis, and then exhale, let it go. Boom. That's it, right? Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, come back down. One more time. Big breath, belly in and up. And exhale. Okay? So bring this foot a little bit higher. Reset. Okay? The second variation, hands are on block. She's going to lift, and then this foot's going to come up and hook. Yep. 
And then if you want to go in a full pose, stretching the feet out, heart pulls through, elbows bend like chaturanga. So all that heart forward was important for this. All the hamstring lengthening was for this. Take a breath in. Exhale, hips down. Whoo, and slowly let it go. Nice work. Shake it out. So lots of different variations in this one that you can stop and breathe and hit the pause button and try it again and come back when you're ready, okay? So the second side, we're going to get into it. Again, that left leg is going to lift. She's going to put her backpack on. She's going to clamp that leg down so it stays in place. Find her blocks. Extend that leg out. All we're going to do on this first one, chest up, look up, take a breath in. Exhale, hips up. Inhale, come down, exhale. So she's pulling low belly in and up to lift her pelvis and back down one more time. <whistles> Sound effects help. And exhale, come down, pause. You can always kind of reset that leg if you need to. All right. And then to go into the pose from this variation, right, she's going to take that right foot up and over. So she's already lifted. She's going to extend her feet out, pull her heart through Allison. That looks great. Keep breathing. Exhale, hips down, ha, and let go, and shake it out. So the variation with the blocks is really awesome if you're trying to create some space underneath of you, if you're new-ish to the pose. She's going to show it one more time without the blocks, um, just so that you kind of get a different, different view of it. I'll take those, thank you. But the setup is the same. So now we're going to, I'll talk you through it, so pick up that right leg. Okay. So now she's going to put her hands down, but before she leaves the ground, she's going to go ahead and hook that foot. So just a different entry, a little bit uh, to get into it. So her heart pulls through. Yep. <coughs> Try it again. So that's why we did a lot of that heart pulling through the legs extending back prep. There you go. Good. Take a breath in. Beautiful. And exhale slowly, booty down. So just pause for a moment. So check it out. When she's going into this posture, her feet aren't just going out there to the side, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. You have to push. So sometimes if you just want to feel what that feels like, sometimes we do this in class sometimes just because it's fun. <laughs> so come to your forearms, cross your ankles, doesn't matter which one, and literally just kick your feet out, right? So the idea, do it again, that you're reaching through. So the legs are a very active part of this pose that's important. Good, exhale, come back down. So we'll try the other side here with your left leg. So it's important just to note that the legs don't go on their own, unfortunately. That'd be really easy. <laughs> that you have to push. The ankles cross, and you got to push those legs away from you. That's where a lot of the hip opening, that's where a lot of the hamstring opening comes into play. So we'll try it one more time on the other side. Eight angle pose today. God, take a breath in. And exhale, beautiful. So she's pushing through her feet. She's pulling her throat. Her belly is drawing up, 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 and in. Her arms are in chaturanga. Beautiful. Take a breath. Exhale, come out. Nice work. Shake it out. So a lot of exits out of that. You can exit to Ekapada Kundanyasana too. We can do all kinds of stuff. But for the sake of this video, we're done. <laughs> so we're going to come forward into Downward Facing Dog just to hit a little bit of a restorative um, sleeping pigeon because it feels good for the outer hip after this one, okay? Inhale your right leg up, Allie. Exhale, right knee, right wrist. Come on down. So proud little pigeon chest, right? She's extending her heart forward, and then exhale, she sleeps her pigeon. So pausing here for just a moment because we did a lot of outer hip goodness, the tendency is to hold a little bit of tension in that outer hip. Instead, see if you can start to find a heaviness about it that allows you to just release into this nice restorative posture. The back knee is on the ground, back foot is on the ground here. Just breathing, mm, catching the breath. And sometimes we'll do these poses and we'll do these classes and sometimes it works and we're on point and we're good to go. And other times it's a little bit more challenging. I want you to kind of use this time to just let it go, right? Whatever it is, whatever you got kind of caught up on, I just want you to let it go. Mm. Take another big breath in. And slowly come up to the palm, straighten the arms, just step the right leg back and switch it out. Mm. 
my God, proud little pigeon chest, extending the heart up, extending the spine long, and then exhaling to sleep. Good. So a couple different variations. If you're not so open in the hip in this one, um, her foot might be very close. Her left foot might be really close to her right hip bone if you're fairly new to this because your hip's going to be a little bit more closed. Her hip is a little bit more open because she um, has a really strong practice. And so her foot is up a little bit more on her mat so that her shin is actually parallel to the front of her mat so that she can really get a big hip opening in there. Just take another breath or two. So lots of different variations. There's other videos where we kind of play from Sleeping Pigeon, a couple different variations, but we're using Sleeping Pigeon today to just be, <coughs> excuse me, a really nice restorative posture after all that eight angle goodness. Stay for one more breath. Exhale to your palms, straighten your arms, take that left leg back. Let's hit one more downward facing dog just to hit a little reset button. Hmm. Take a breath in. You got about halfway up your mat, just hop across and come on down. Nice work. Feel good? All right. Well, thank you for watching. Allison, thank you for playing. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.